Hello and welcome to my sitting room. My name is Cassa and I am the Vicar of Holy Trinity Church. You may have already seen me on one of the other videos in this series on the theme of waiting in Advent. Have you put your Christmas tree up yet? We've put ours up and we are getting very excited. Are you looking forward to Christmas? I wonder, does it seem like a very long time to wait? Last time we thought about Sarah and Abraham who waited for the promises that God had made to them. For some of those promises they had to wait a very long time. This time we're going to hear a story about a man named Jeremiah, a prophet, someone who hears a message from God and tells people what God's message is. Prophets look forward, waiting to see God's future. This story I'm going to read you today is called Down the Well. Down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well, there was no water. But down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well, there were spiders and slugs and slithering snakes and the prophet Jeremiah. What was he doing in the well, deep down at the very bottom of the well? He was waiting, that's what, and wondering and wishing for someone to pull him out. God had whispered in the prophet's ear, you see, and Jeremiah had passed the message on to the king. God said, change your ways, do what is right, or I will let your enemies, the Babylonians, conquer your country and turn your people into slaves. The king did not want to hear this message to change his ways and do what was right. And so he didn't want anyone else to hear it either. So he had God's messenger, poor Jeremiah, dropped down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well. It was dark down there, too dark for Jeremiah to see, but it wasn't too dark for God. He saw Jeremiah brush a spider off his face. He watched as the snakes slithered closer. And then God did something. He whispered in the ear of one of the king's servants, a man called Abed Malek, and he told him to go and fetch his dirty laundry. Down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well, dropped Abed Melech's laundry. And it landed right on Jeremiah's head. Hey, hollered the prophet, what's this? My clothes, called Abed Melech. Everything but what I'm wearing on my back. I've tied them together like a rope. Now wrap them around you quickly and I will pull you out. And so... More determined than ever to pass on God's message, the prophet Jeremiah rose up from the well, right up from the well, right up from the very bottom of the well. So I wonder what it would be like to sit at the bottom of the well like Jeremiah did. I wonder how long he had to wait. I wonder if we would be brave like Jeremiah to continue telling people about God's message of justice and peace after we had been in the well. Those are some questions for you to ponder and then I have a challenge for you this week. I would like you to think about something you could do to help someone and particularly to help someone make something fairer. Because that's what justice is about, making things fairer. So what could you do this week to help somebody and particularly help make something fairer? I'll look forward to seeing you again next week and we're going to hear a story about John the Baptist who prepared the way for Jesus coming. Take care. Bye bye.